Once upon a time, in an industry filled with glitz and glamour, the actress rose to fame, leaving an indelible mark on the world of film and theater. Born on October 1, 1935, in Surrey, England, the actress began her journey on the stage at a young age. Her talent was undeniable, and she quickly gained recognition for her stunning performances in various productions. In 1954, she made her Broadway debut in The Boyfriend, which was followed by her starring role in My Fair Lady in 1956. But it was her performance in the 1964 film Mary Poppins that catapulted her to superstardom. Her portrayal of the beloved nanny was nothing short of magical, and had earned her an Academy Award for Best Actress. The actress continued to dazzle audiences with her incredible talent, appearing in numerous films and stage productions over the years. In 1965, she starred in The Sound of Music, which became one of the highest grossing films of all time, and solidified her status as a Hollywood icon. Despite facing various challenges throughout her career, the actress remained a force to be reckoned with. She continued to act, sing, and even direct, inspiring generations of performers along the way. Throughout her career, the actress has received numerous accolades, including multiple Golden Globe Awards, Emmy Awards, and Grammy Awards. Her contributions to the world of entertainment are immeasurable, and her legacy will live on for generations to come. Actress Julie Andrews has been a beloved figure in the entertainment industry for many years. She first gained fame for her work on the stage, specifically in the Broadway productions of The Boyfriend and My Fair Lady. However, it was her iconic role as Maria in The Sound of Music that catapulted her to international stardom. Following her success in The Sound of Music, Andrews went on to star in other classic films such as Mary Poppins and Thoroughly Modern Millie. Her talent and versatility as an actress, singer, and dancer have earned her numerous accolades, including an Academy Award, a Golden Globe, and a BAFTA. So, viewers, we have a question for you. Which work of Julie Andrews do you hold closest to your heart? Was it her memorable performance as Maria in The Sound of Music? Or perhaps her spoonful of sugar in Mary Poppins? We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Furthermore, what makes Andrews stand out from her contemporaries in that era? Was it her unique voice, her charisma, or her ability to bring depth and nuance to every character she played? Let us know in the comments below. And speaking of personal experiences, do you have a cherished memory or story related to this classic star? Maybe you saw her in concert, or perhaps you had the opportunity to meet her in person. We would love to hear all about it in the comments below. Throughout her career, Andrews has faced many challenges and triumphs, both on and off the screen. From her humble beginnings on the stage to her iconic film roles, there are many funny, shocking, and even sad facts about her life and career. So, keep watching this video to learn more about the incredible actress Julie Andrews. Born in 1935, the actress, Julie Andrews, spent her early years in England. Her father, a teacher, and a popular local pianist and singer, greatly influenced her musical inclinations. Meanwhile, her mother, an amateur actress and singer, nurtured her love for performing. The actress's childhood was filled with music and performances, as she often joined her parents during their shows. By the age of 10, the actress was already singing on the BBC radio. She later attended the Cone Ritman School, a renowned school for performing arts in London. Here, she honed her skills in singing, dancing, and acting. Her mentors at the school recognized her potential and provided her with opportunities to perform in various stage productions. One of her most significant influences was her voice teacher, Lillian Stiles Allen. Under Stiles Allen's guidance, the actress developed her unique soprano voice, which later became her trademark. Stiles Allen not only taught her vocal techniques, but also instilled in her a deep appreciation for classical music and discipline in her craft. The actress's talent and dedication did not go unnoticed. At the age of 13, she was chosen to play the role of Polly Brown in the original London production of The Boyfriend. This marked her professional debut and opened doors for more opportunities in the world of entertainment. In the following years, the actress continued to appear in various stage productions, further developing her skills and building her reputation as a talented performer. Her early experiences and influences played a crucial role in shaping her path towards becoming one of the most celebrated actresses in the industry. The actress, Julie Andrews, was born in 1935 in Walton-on-Thames, Surrey, England. She comes from a humble background 
Her father was a teacher, and her mother was a pianist. Andrew's early life was filled with music and performance, as her mother encouraged her to sing and act from a young age. At the age of 12, Andrews began her professional career as a child actress in London's West End. She appeared in several productions, including Starlight Roof and The Boyfriend. These early experiences shaped her career and helped her develop her skills as a performer. In 1954, Andrews made her Broadway debut in The Boyfriend, which was a huge success. She went on to star in several other Broadway shows, including My Fair Lady and Camelot. Her performances on Broadway caught the attention of Hollywood, and she soon began appearing in films. Andrew's film career took off in the 1960s, with her iconic performances in Mary Poppins and The Sound of Music. These roles cemented her status as a leading lady in Hollywood and earned her critical acclaim and numerous awards. Throughout her career, Andrews has continued to act in films, television shows, and stage productions. She has also lent her voice to several animated films and television shows. Despite her many accolades and successes, Andrews remains humble and dedicated to her craft. In conclusion, Andrews early life and background were instrumental in shaping her career as an actress. From her humble beginnings in England to her successful career in Hollywood, Andrews has remained a talented and dedicated performer. From a young age, the actress found joy in performing. At just 12 years old, she was already singing on stage in London's prestigious Royal Shaftesbury Theatre. It was there that she discovered her true passion for acting and singing. She once shared, I was hooked from the start. I loved the excitement of working in the theatre, the camaraderie of the company, the satisfaction of a good performance, and the sadness when it all came to an end. Her big break came when she was chosen to play the lead role in the Broadway production of The Boyfriend in 1954. The actress's performance was a critical success, and it opened the doors for her to become a household name. However, it was her role as Maria in the 1965 film, The Sound of Music, that truly solidified her place in Hollywood. The movie became an instant classic, and her performance as the singing nun captured the hearts of audiences worldwide. The actress later revealed that she had initially turned down the role, but after reading the script and meeting with the film's director, she changed her mind. I knew I had to do it, she said. The actress's passion for her craft has never wavered. She has continued to act and sing in various films and shows, leaving a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Her talent and dedication have inspired generations of actors and fans alike, and her legacy continues to resonate today. The Sound of Music is a classic film that has touched the hearts of many. One of its most memorable moments is when the actress, performing as Maria, sings Edelweiss. Despite its brief appearance in the movie, it remains the actress's favorite song from the show. Interestingly, she had already performed this song on the Gary Moore Show Christmas Show in 1961, four years before the film's release. In addition to The Sound of Music, the actress was also considered for the role of Emma Fairfax in Dr. Doolittle. Although she didn't get the part, her talent and versatility as an actress were already well established. If you're interested in seeing the actress's performance of my favorite things from The Sound of Music, you can find it on YouTube. It's a treat to see her bring the song to life before the movie was even made. Despite growing up in a low-income family, the actress developed a love for performing at a young age. As a child, she sang in local churches and on the radio to help her family financially. However, her unconventional start in the entertainment industry was met with skepticism. Critics questioned her ability to transition from a successful singing career to acting in films. But the actress was determined to prove them wrong. She took voice lessons and acting classes to refine her skills and expand her range. One of her earliest challenges was her lack of experience on camera. In her first film, she had to act alongside an animated character, which was a new experience for her. However, she approached the challenge with enthusiasm and creativity. She studied the character's movements and mannerisms and incorporated them into her own performance. Another obstacle she faced was the pressure to conform to Hollywood's standards of beauty. At 5'7", she was considered too tall for leading roles. But instead of letting this discourage her, she used her height to her advantage. She embraced her stature and used it to command the screen. Throughout her career, the actress faced numerous challenges, from industry skepticism to personal struggles. But she never let these obstacles stand in her way. 
She continued to work hard, own her craft, and push boundaries. Her resilience and determination have left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry, inspiring generations of performers to come. Actress Julie Andrews is not only a beloved figure in film and theater, but also a dedicated grandmother and mother-in-law. She is the grandmother of Emma Walton Hamilton's children, Samuel and Hope, and the mother-in-law of Steve Hamilton. In addition to her acting career, Andrews has also used the pen name Julie Edwards to publish several books for children. These books, written with her daughter Emma, are aimed at sharing her love for reading and storytelling with a younger audience. Using the pseudonym Julie Edwards allows Andrews to explore her creativity and connect with her readers on a different level. It also shows her versatility as an artist, as she continues to leave her mark in various fields. Despite her many accomplishments, Andrews remains a down-to-earth and dedicated family member, always making time for her loved ones amidst her busy schedule. Her contributions to the world of entertainment and literature continue to be cherished by fans of all ages. In 1954, the actress's career took off when she made her Broadway debut in The Boyfriend. Her performance was a critical success, and it led to her being cast as Eliza Doolittle in the Broadway production of My Fair Lady in 1956. However, it was the actress's role in the 1964 film Mary Poppins that truly solidified her status as a Hollywood star. The film, which won five Academy Awards, including Best Actress for the Actress, showcased her incredible singing and acting talents. As critic Leonard Maltin put it, she was born to play Mary Poppins. In 1965, the actress took on another iconic role in the film The Sound of Music. The movie, which won five Academy Awards, including Best Picture, became one of the highest grossing films of all time. The actress's performance as Maria Von Trapp was widely praised, with critic Paul and Kale noting that she was as warm and as unaffected as any movie star I can think of. In the 1980s, the actress proved her versatility by taking on more dramatic roles. In 1981, she starred in the television movie The Courage and the Passion, for which she received an Emmy nomination. In 1986, she starred in the film Duet for One, playing a violinist who becomes paralyzed. The actress's performance was widely praised, with critic Roger Ebert noting that she brings to the role a depth of feeling that is almost unbearably moving. Throughout her career, the actress has continued to push herself and take on new challenges. In 2001, she starred in the Broadway revival of Putting It Together, and in 2010, she published her first memoir, Home a Memoir of My Early Years. In conclusion, the actress's career has been marked by a series of breakthrough moments, from her early success on Broadway to her iconic roles in Mary Poppins and The Sound of Music. Her ability to adapt and take on new challenges has earned her the respect and admiration of peers, critics, and audiences alike. After her groundbreaking performance as Mary Poppins, the actress became known for her dedication to her roles. In an unusual move, she even sported a bumper sticker on her car reading Mary Poppins is a junkie during the 1960s. The actress's work in Mary Poppins also earned her a Best Actress Oscar, making her the only nominee in the category for a Best Picture nominee that year. Her success in the film was followed by her role in The Sound of Music, where she played Maria. To prepare for the role, the actress had to learn how to play the guitar, especially for the movie. Her hard work and dedication paid off, as the film became a cultural phenomenon and cemented her status as a leading lady in Hollywood. The actress is renowned for her unique artistic vision and process. Drawing from her experiences in theater, she approaches film and television work with a strong musical background, which often infuses a sense of melody and rhythm into her performances. She once mentioned, I like to think of a scene as a song. It has a rhythm, a pitch, a pace. This approach allows her to create nuanced and memorable characters that resonate with audiences. In her work, the actress often incorporates elements of her personal worldview, emphasizing the importance of kindness, resilience, and personal growth. Her characters frequently face challenges and adversity, but they ultimately triumph through their determination and inner strength. Through these stories, she inspires viewers to overcome their own obstacles and believe in their potential. One notable example of her unique style can be found in her work on The Sound of Music. In this film, she brought to life the character of Maria, a strong-willed and compassionate woman who finds her true calling by becoming a governess for a wealthy family. 
The actress's portrayal of Maria showcases her ability to seamlessly blend musicality, drama, and comedy, resulting in a performance that has become iconic. Throughout her career, the actress has demonstrated a commitment to exploring the complexities of human nature and the world around her. By drawing from her personal experiences and worldview, she has developed a distinctive artistic process that has left an indelible mark on the film and theater industries. For many years, the actress has owned a chalet in Gstaad, Switzerland, showing her appreciation for the town by paying for the Christmas lights every year and presenting the prize at the annual Gstaad Tennis Open in July. She has often found solace in looking at a photo of Gstaad when feeling nervous before a performance. In the film 10, the actress played the character Samantha Taylor, with filming taking place in Malibu, California, where she and Blake Edwards resided. Their Malibu home was also used for shooting That's Life in 1986. Despite the challenging dynamic between the actress and Christopher Plummer during the filming of The Sound of Music, with Plummer referring to the movie as The Sound of Mucus and s &M, they remained close friends until his death. The actress has stated that Plummer's cynicism likely contributed to the film's success by preventing it from becoming too sentimental. Julie Andrews, a name synonymous with grace and talent, has left an indelible mark on the film and theater industry. Born on October 1, 1935, in Walton on Thames, Surrey, England, the actress embarked on a journey that would redefine storytelling. Her groundbreaking performance in Mary Poppins brought a new level of depth to musical films. As noted by film critic Leonard Malton, Julie Andrews brought a unique blend of charm, wit, and singing talent to Mary Poppins, making it an instant classic. The actress's influence extended beyond film. Her work in My Fair Lady showcased her extraordinary vocal range and acting skills, earning her a Tony Award. The show's director, Moss Hart, praised her, saying, Julie Andrews is a rare talent, a true professional who brings depth and emotion to every role she plays. In The Sound of Music, the actress once again demonstrated her versatility, captivating audiences with her portrayal of Maria. As film historian G9 Basinger put it, Julie Andrews' performance in The Sound of Music resonated with audiences worldwide, solidifying her status as a beloved icon. Andrews' impact transcended generations. A new generation discovered her talent through her work in The Princess Diaries and its sequel. As director Gary Marshall said, Julie Andrews brought a warmth and elegance to The Princess Diaries that made it a hit with audiences of all ages. In recent years, the actress has continued to inspire with her work in Aquaman and Minions. Her contributions to the industry have been recognized with numerous awards, including an Academy Award, a BAFTA, five Golden Globes, and a Screen Actors Guild Lifetime Achievement Award. In the end, Julie Andrews' legacy is one of grace, talent, and versatility. Her contributions to the film and theater industry have left a lasting impact, inspiring generations of actors and audiences alike. After a successful career in film and theater, the actress received a well-deserved standing ovation at the 75th Annual Academy Awards in 23. In 2004, her daughter, Amelia Edwards, married rock musician Lauren Sheff, but they have since divorced. One interesting fact about the actress's film career is her appearance in the movie Torn Curtain. In one scene, she climbs the stairs to enter a bookstore, and on the wall, there is a poster advertising a department store called Den Permanent. This store is also featured in Sir Alfred Hitchcock's film Topaz, released in 1969. These subtle connections between films and the actress's career show the interconnectedness of the film industry and the attention to detail that goes into set design and filming locations. It's always intriguing to discover these hidden gems and connections in films adding another layer of depth and appreciation for the art form. The actress, known for her iconic roles in films like The Sound of Music and Mary Poppins, has a deep passion for music and the arts. She often shares her love for these fields outside of her professional sphere. In fact, the actress has been known to sing at charity events and has even published children's books that incorporate music and storytelling. One of the actress's most notable philanthropic efforts is her work with the Julie Andrews Collection, a line of children's books and media that aims to promote literacy and the love of reading among young people. She has also been involved with organizations such as UNICEF and the American Place Theater, using her platform to advocate for children's rights and the arts. In addition to her love of music, 
and the arts. The actress is also passionate about giving back to her community. She has been involved with various charitable organizations throughout her career, using her time and resources to make a positive impact on the world around her. It's clear that the actress's personal values and interests inform her work both on and off the screen. Her dedication to promoting literacy, advocating for children's rights, and giving back to her community are just a few examples of the ways in which she uses her platform for good. In the film 10, the actress showcases her singing talent once again, performing the tune He Pleases Me in a duet with Dudley Moore called It's Easy to Say. Her stunning vocals are a reminder of her famous roles in classic musicals such as Mary Poppins and The Sound of Music. However, due to a throat surgery in November 1998, the actress's husband reported that she would likely never sing again. The surgery had a significant impact on her voice, which was a crucial part of her identity and career. In 2001, the London press reported that the actress received a substantial settlement for her botched throat surgery amounting to nearly 21 million British pounds, or about 30 million US dollars. The settlement was a recognition of the significant impact the surgery had on her career and livelihood. Despite the challenges she faced, the actress continued to act in various films and shows, showcasing her versatile talent and leaving a lasting impact on the industry. The actress, Julie Andrews, has left an indelible mark on the film and theater industry. With her iconic roles in films like The Sound of Music and Mary Poppins, she has won the hearts of audiences worldwide. Her legacy lies in her ability to portray complex characters with grace and depth, captivating audiences, and leaving a lasting impression. In terms of future contributions, the actress has shown that she is not one to rest on her laurels. She has continued to work in film, television, and theater, taking on new challenges and pushing herself as an artist. Her recent work includes voiceover work in animated films and a role in the popular television series Julie's Green Room. For aspiring professionals in the field, the actress offers this advice never stop learning and growing as an artist. Take risks and challenge yourself. Surround yourself with people who inspire you and who you can learn from. And most importantly, always stay true to yourself and your art. Indeed, the actress's own career serves as a testament to the importance of these principles. She has continually pushed herself to try new things and take on new challenges, all while staying true to her unique voice and talent. Her legacy in the industry is a powerful reminder of the impact that a single artist can have, and her future contributions will no doubt continue to inspire and captivate audiences for years to come. The actress's success in Mary Poppins, The Sound of Music, and Thoroughly Modern Millie helped establish her as a major box office draw in the 1960s. However, the financial failure of Star and Darling Lily led to a setback in her career. During her acceptance speech for her Oscar win, she made sure to thank only Walt Disney by name. In her personal life, the actress is a mother to daughter Emma Walton Hamilton, whom she had with her husband, Tony Walton. The two were married from 1959 to 1967, and Emma was born in 1962. The actress's relationship with Emma is an important one, as they have worked together on various projects in more recent years. After training in London's prestigious Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, the actress began her career on the stage before transitioning to film and television. Her iconic performance in The Sound of Music propelled her to stardom and earned her an Academy Award. She continued to innovate, taking on diverse roles in films like Mary Poppins and Victor Victoria. Despite facing personal and professional challenges, the actress persevered, always staying true to her passion. She became an advocate for women's rights and children's issues, using her platform to make a difference. The actress's impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable. She has left an indelible mark on film and stage, inspiring generations of performers and audiences alike. Through her creativity, talent, and determination, she has shown that with hard work and dedication, anything is possible. In the end, the actress's journey serves as a powerful reminder of the power of creativity and perseverance. Her legacy continues to resonate, inspiring us all to dream big and never give up. In the classic film Mary Poppins, the actress had to manage several yards of control wires under her costume for her scenes with the animatronic Robin. This level of dedication to her craft was evident again when she completed her run in the Broadway musical Camelot while two months pregnant with her daughter. 
However, in June 1997, the actress faced a significant challenge when she underwent throat surgery. This surgery had a significant impact on her career, but she remained determined to continue acting. Despite the difficulties she faced, the actress persevered, demonstrating her resilience and commitment to her craft. In the film Mary Poppins, Larry Thomas, the woman in the carriage who blows a kiss at Bert during Chim Chim Cherry, was actress's stand-in. For The Sound of Music, the real Maria's name was not Maria Reiner, as depicted in the movie, but Maria Augusta Kutra. She can be spotted in the background on the streets of Salzburg during the I Have Confidence number when the actress marches her way to the Von Trapp family schloss. Actress's career reached new heights when she was created a dame by Britain's Queen Elizabeth, the second on the Millennium New Year's Honors list on December 31, 1999. This prestigious title recognized her significant contributions to the world of film and theater. Delving deeper into the sound of music, the character Maria was based on a real person, Maria Augusta Kutra, who became a governess for the Von Trapp family. The film took some liberties with Maria's backstory, but the basic premise of a governess joining a musical family remained true. In Mary Poppins, actress brought to life the iconic character of Mary Poppins, a magical nanny who uses her charm and wit to teach life lessons to the Banks children. Larry Thomas, who served as actress's stand-in, had a small but memorable role in the film, blowing a kiss to Dick Van Dyke's character, Bert, during the Chim Chim Cherry number. Actress's contributions to the entertainment industry have left an indelible mark, and her performances in Mary Poppins and the sound of music continue to resonate with audiences today. Her ability to bring characters to life in a way that is both captivating and enduring has solidified her place as a beloved figure in the world of film and theater. After establishing herself as a Broadway star, the actress came close to filming one of the roles that had made her famous. Producer Ross Hunter had initially planned to create a film version of The Boyfriend, with the actress reprising her original role. However, due to rights issues, she starred in the similar boyfriend pastiche Thoroughly Modern Millie instead. When Ken Russell eventually brought the boyfriend to the screen in 1971, with Twiggy as the lead, the role of veteran stage musical star Rita Monroe was offered to the actress, but she declined, and it went to Glenda Jackson. The actress's iconic role as Mary Poppins earned her a Best Actress Oscar, which was presented to her by Sidney Poitier, who had won the previous year for Lilies of the Field. Her portrayal of the beloved character remains a classic in film history. Long before her acting career, the actress had an unusual talent. At the age of seven, she could sing notes that only dogs could hear. This early talent foreshadowed her future success as a singer and actress, where she would captivate audiences with her remarkable voice and performances. In the film Torn Curtain, the actress, who played Dr. Sarah Sherman, faced a change in the plot's focus from her character to an American amateur spy. Despite this, the director, Sir Alfred Hitchcock, developed a fondness for Leela Kudrova, who played Countess Kuczynska, and often shared meals with her during filming. In contrast, for the role of Mary Poppins, Walt Disney himself handpicked the actress after seeing her in Camelot on Broadway. He even offered her husband, Tony Walton, a job designing costumes and sets for the movie. Interestingly, the author of the Mary Poppins books, P.L. Travers, approved of the actress's casting based solely on a telephone interview. The actress, who had just given birth, took the call from her bed. It's worth noting that Disney was so impressed with the actress's performance in Camelot that he had the animators of 100 and 1 Dalmatians design the character of Anita to resemble her. Overall, the actress's talent and versatility shone through in both these iconic roles leaving a lasting impact on audiences and the film industry. In the movie Torn Curtain, the actress played the role of Dr. Sarah Sherman. The film's climax takes place in a theater, specifically the oldest permanent standing set in Hollywood, Universal Stage 28. This set, which was used in the 1925 movie The Phantom of the Opera, was restored for Torn Curtain with the help of archived black and white photos from the original film. The set designers, including Joseph Musso and Mort Rabinovitz, did an excellent job in bringing the theater back to its former glory. Meanwhile, in The Sound of Music, the actress took on the role of Maria. The gazebo used in the 16 going on 17 and something good scenes can still be visited in Salzburg, but the interior is off limits due to fans injuring themselves while trying to dance along the seats. 
The dance scenes were actually filmed on a soundstage at 20th Century Fox in Los Angeles. In 2015, The Sound of Music celebrated its 50th anniversary and pop singer Lady Gaga performed a medley of the movie's songs at the Academy Awards. The actress, who was in the audience, came out and embraced Lady Gaga, much to the surprise of the singer. These films showcase the actress's talent and versatility, and it's no wonder that she has left a lasting impact in the world of film and television. Her performances in Torn Curtain and The Sound of Music are still cherished by audiences today. Furthermore, the actress earned recognition for her lifetime of work with a Grammy for Lifetime Achievement in 2011. Her portrayal of Maria in The Sound of Music came to be after William Wyler, who initially began the project, and cast her, stepped down, leaving Robert Wise to continue. The actress is also close to achieving the prestigious EGOT status, having secured an Emmy, Grammy, and Oscar, with only a Tony Award eluding her despite three nominations. After her success in Mary Poppins, the actress took on another iconic role in The Sound of Music. Both films were musicals directed by Robert Wise and written by Ernest Lehman, featuring a main character named Maria. In Mary Poppins, the actress provided voices for the animated sequences along with her co-star David Tomlinson. During the filming of The Sound of Music, the actress sang supercalifragilisticexpialidocious to entertain the child actors, who thought she had made up the song just for them, as Mary Poppins had not yet been released. The actress's ability to captivate audiences and bring joy to those around her, both on and off screen, is a true testament to her talent and enduring impact on the world of film. The Sound of Music was not the only musical to feature a main character named Maria. Natalie Wood played Maria in West Side Story, which was also produced and directed by Robert Wise and written by Ernest Lehman. Despite the similarities in character names, each performance was unique and memorable in its own way. The talent and dedication of the actress in these two classic films have left a lasting impact on the world of cinema, and her performances continue to be cherished by audiences of all ages. Her ability to bring characters to life in a way that is both captivating and enduring is a true testament to her skill as an actress. The legacy of her work in Mary Poppins and The Sound of Music continues to resonate with audiences today. After her success as Mary Poppins, the actress took on a different role in The Pink Panther Strikes Again. She provided the singing voice for Ainsley Jarvis, a female impersonator. This role is reminiscent of her performance in Victor Victoria, where she played a woman posing as a man who is a female impersonator. The character of Mary Poppins has left a lasting impression in the world of film. It was ranked number 45 on Premiere Magazine's list of the 100 greatest movie characters of all time. There was also a planned cameo for the actress in The Return of the Pink Panther, but it didn't make it to the final cut. She appeared as a chambermaid, adding a touch of her charm to the comedy, in total, the actress's contributions to the film industry have been significant and long-lasting. Her ability to take on diverse roles and leave a mark on each character is truly commendable. In the opening scene of The Sound of Music, the audience is treated to a unique surprise. Behind actress Julie Andrews, playing the role of Maria, stands the real Maria Von Trapp, the woman who inspired the story. At the 37th Annual Academy Awards, Julie Andrews took home the Best Actress Oscar for her performance in Mary Poppins, becoming the 61st actress to receive the honor. The award ceremony took place on April 5, 1965. In Thoroughly Modern Millie, Julie Andrews stars as Millie Dillmount with a cast that includes one Oscar winner, Mary Tyler Moore, and two Oscar nominees, Julie Andrews and Carol Channing. The film is a testament to the talent gathered for its production. After initial hesitation to take on the role, the actress delivered a memorable performance as Mary Poppins in the classic film. She had hoped to be offered the part of Eliza Doolittle in My Fair Lady, but fate had other plans. In The Sound of Music, the actress portrayed Maria, a role inspired by the real Maria Von Trapp. In a television special, Von Trapp herself taught the actress how to yodel, a skill showcased in the film. The actress's final theatrical movie was Thoroughly Modern Millie, where she starred alongside Beatrice Lilly, who played Mistress Mears. Lilly was showing early signs of Alzheimer's disease and struggled to memorize her lines. The actress graciously stood off camera and repeated Lilly's lines, allowing her to complete her scenes. In 1962, The Sound of Music was still a successful Broadway show when actress 
and Carol Burnett performed a spoof of it on their television special, Julie and Carol at Carnegie Hall. Little did actress know that she would later portray Maria Von Trapp in the movie adaptation. Actress received second billing in the film 10, which was the third time she was not top billed in a movie. She had previously been second billed in the Americanization of Emily and Torn Curtain. Interestingly, Maria Von Trapp, the inspiration behind The Sound of Music, was not invited to the movie's Hollywood premiere. Producers claimed there were no seats left, but it's rumored that Maria was kicked off the set due to her intrusive suggestions and feisty demeanor. To make amends, actress invited Maria to appear on one of her television specials, where they yodeled together. The clips can still be found on YouTube for fans to enjoy. As one of the most beloved actresses of all time, the film and theater work of this talented artist has left a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. From her iconic performance in The Sound of Music, where she won the hearts of viewers with her stunning voice and endearing charm, to her groundbreaking role in Mary Poppins, which showcased her versatility and range as an actress, she has truly made her mark on the entertainment industry. Throughout her long and storied career, she has continued to captivate audiences with her work in various films and shows, each one showcasing her unique talents and abilities. Her contributions to the world of entertainment are immeasurable, and her legacy will no doubt continue to resonate with generations to come. So, what do you think about the work and legacy of this accomplished actress? Do you have a favorite film or performance of hers that has stayed with you over the years? We would love to hear your thoughts and memories in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this celebration of the creative spirits shaping entertainment, be sure to like and share this post with your friend and family. And don't forget to subscribe for more content that cherishes the enduring impact of these talented individuals.